I would like to tell you about the stray animal issue in the Houston area. We are driving home on a Friday afternoon in a great mood because we'll be on vacation for the next week. The weather is beautiful and life is good. Then you look out the window and see a terrified looking dog run into the street and get hit by a car. The worst part about it, it isn't the first time this happened and probably not the last either. The Houston area is, is overrun with stray cats and dogs who can't even fit in the shelters. After moving to the Houston area a few years ago, I noticed this issue. I have adopted a dog from the shelter and have seen too many dogs and cats hurt or dead in the streets. This prompted me to research. We can all help by spreading the word about this issue. Adopting pets from the shelter and rescues instead of pet shops and getting all pets fixed. In order to find a solution to a problem, you must understand it. The Houston area has an abundance of stray dogs and cats, and too many healthy sweet animals are euthanized every year due to overpopulation. According to the Humane Society of the United States, about 2.4 million healthy adoptable cats and dogs, about one in every 13 seconds, are put down in U.S. shelters each year. Houston, Texas has an estimated 1.2 million stray dog and cats at any given time. Not enough people are getting their pets spayed or neutered. And on top of that, there are breeders of all kinds trying to sell pets. Animals that are not fixed and up and end up reproducing with others and, and the result is a whole litter of unwanted dogs or cats. Many of these end up in shelters, which are constantly overfilled. Harris County Public Health and Environment Service shelter was originally designed to hold 12,000 strays, but it is, it is currently holding 25,000. In Houston and Harris County, tens of thousands of dogs and cats euthanize each year because they are unwanted. How can we help? The Houston area should crack down on puppies and kittens for sale. People are made to believe that a dog that is not a mixed breed is better than a mixed dog, which are largely part of the dogs at shelters. So instead of adopting, they walk to pet stores or breeders. There's also enough, not enough education that there actually are dogs at the shelter of all breeds, and they might have just what someone is looking for. Spaying and neutering costs should be reduced at all places. And more education needs to be done of the importance and health benefits of the animals. According to BARC, also known as Bark Animal Shelter of Houston, Spaying and neutering is good for your pet. It reduces the chance of reproductive cancer, prevents females from having heat cycles, reduces the chance males will spray or mark their territory, lessens a pet's urge to roam and get lost, reduces the pet's overall population problem. In conclusion, there is a huge problem in our area with stray dogs and cats that the shelters cannot keep up with, causing so many innocent animals to be put down. We all need to get together and help. Education is key on this matter. People need to know how important an easy fixing animal is, and that a mixed breed dog is just as special as and great as a purebred dog. When I look at my dog, it breaks my heart to imagine that he could have been euthanized if we hadn't adopted him. You don't want to be part of the problem, get involved, and save the lives of innocent animals today.